What an intriguing matchup, to say the least, between the sexy Alec and Hard Knocks Harrington. This is only the second time these two guys have faced off here in AZW. The first time it was a part of our Anything Goes show in which the fans picked the match. And the fans uh, picked this match for the first time they, they competed. And that was a wild and crazy brawl that permeated throughout the entire Why Night Boys and Girls Club. Now these two are fighting again, this time with the opportunity to compete for the AZW Heavyweight title at Showdown. It's a title Alecky's held before and he wants back. And it's definitely a title that's eluded Hard Knocks since he's been here and he definitely wants his opportunity to be the champion. Here we go. Both men just sizing each other up. These two are not fan favorites, so don't get it twisted. This is all about that title. And we saw a little bit of how it's every man for himself in the Lethal Lottery uh, Battle Royal when Alecky actually uh, eliminated Hard Knocks, who was his partner earlier in the night. Doc Gunner goes over again, comes off, hip toss. Nicely done by Hard Knocks Harrington. Hard knocks with that side headlock, just squeezing him. Becky sends him off. Shoulder tackle, hard knocks. Coming off again. Lee Frog by Alecky. And a hip toss of his own by the sexy Alecky. Both of them claiming to be the man. Oh, Bowen for the Greco-Roman eye poke of doom. Oh, he's got him by the beard. Oh! He's got to sanitize his hand. He's stuck in that tape. Oh, oh, Lecky with that Inzaguri. Oh, now he's uh, just tying up hard knocks. Oh. oh. He just hit him with those rapid fire kicks to the chest. Bringing him onto the outside here, and this is never good when it comes here on the outside. Oh, Harnock just blocked it and just slammed the lecky's sexy face into the mat. And just comes back with that knife edge chop. Irish whip here, reversal. Because the lecky, oh! 
Just got turned inside out off of that ring post. Now he's just measuring them here. Oh, this is not good. He's measuring them up here on the outside. He caught, oh, and he just closed on right on the outside. Right in front of our concession. By the way, AZW t-shirts are on sale. And the fans appreciate the violence. Hardnock's back in the ring. Alecki's crawling back to the ring. He loses his by count out. Hardnock's is going on to fight for the title. It doesn't matter how they win, the winner advances. We're going for a suplex. He brought him back in the hard way. Did Hard Knocks. He is the dean of the school of Hard Knocks. I don't know where it is and I don't know how you enroll in it, but he's the dean of it. Hard Knocks is in a foul mood. I blame the bus for that. And stupid people. He always blames the stupid people. The idiots, as he likes to call them. Got even like a modified uh, Cobra Clutch, also known as the Million Dollar Dream. Just trying to cinch it in. Referee Arthur Pinpin is right there checking him right now. He's going to check him, see how much. He might be out here. He says, he's out. If it drops a third time, it's over. And you're going to have Harnas uh, advancing via submission. He doesn't want, oh no, it's still got, Alecky's still in it. Alecky trying to fight his way out of it. Oh, and he just got, he just got lifted high up and slammed on the back of his head. Only a two count for Hard Knocks. One of these men will go on to showdown to take on the, the winner of Mark Anarchy and Calor Futuro. Now we got a little, we went for the close, I kind of telegraphed it. Alecky ducked under, right with that neck breaker. Lecky going up top. Oh, Arnos cut him off. Is Ric Flair here? Oh no, Hard Knocks going up top. You don't see him doing that often, but he's been adding the top rope to his repertoires of late. And he's coming off here. A blockbuster, very impressive there by Hard Knocks. That could be it right there if he just makes the cover. What an impressive maneuver there by Hard Knocks. Now he might just be adding insult to injury here. Oh no, he could be going for that. Oh, but. See, Alecky's kind of blocking it. Oh! He just sweeped his leg right from out from under him. And Harnas could be out cold. Alecky going up top here again, high risk. We see what happens with these guys when they go high risk. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my god! He just turned him inside out! They're just literally putting their bodies on the line for that opportunity to be called EZW Heavyweight Champion. But when is enough enough between these two men here?
Goldman still down. The referee's making that count. The Philcon fans, again, they're appreciating the violence and, and then the, the way these guys are sacrificing themselves for this opportunity. Now they're just kicking him in the thigh to the hammy. I'm surprised the old man's still on their feet here. Like it with a snap mirror. Oh, he just uppercut him in the back of the neck. Oh! Jeez. Oh. Boots up! Connect! Cover, hooks the leg. Oh! That was, was that three? That was close. But Hard Knocks did get that shoulder up just in the nick of time. Oh, Hard Knocks just blocked it. Oh, he just tied. Oh, Lecky's tied up in a bad way right now. Tied up in that tree of woe. Uh oh. No. Oh, he just dropped him. You can see the wear and tear on, on both these men right now. Fisherman Buster. And what was what is that about? I, I think he had him. What is he thinking? What arrogance shown by Hard Knocks here. This is for an opportunity at the heavyweight title. You don't take any chances, especially against somebody love him or hate him like Alecki, a former champion himself. Might be going for it again. Into a schoolboy. Throws him up. Oh, that was supposed to see what happens when you take get arrogant like that. It almost costs hard knocks. Bowman back up on their feet. Duck under. Schoolboy here. Oh, he caught him. Hard knocks went to uh, put on the tights. And he caught him there. And he's got him. And he got him. He's going on to face the winner of Anarchy Futuro. He is a sexy Alecki. A beautiful young girl 
get a souvenir here from Kaimana. Oh, and Alamed just attack him on the outside. Not, he just sneak attacked him. Not even giving Kaimana time to get out of the box. We saw Kaimana a little bit earlier uh, make the save uh, when Kenru took on Jafar the Butcher. Now we get to see Kaimana and Alamed one on one here tonight. And Kaimana takes him down and just blasts him with those right hands. I mean, those left hands, sorry. Left, right, whatever, they're connecting. Alamed takes a powder on the outside and kind of get his bearings back after thinking he had the upper hand, but realizing he's taking on Kaimana. He's taking on a veteran, former champion, both heavyweight and tag team right there, a Kaimana. Both these guys got a little taste of each other at our, at our Lethal Lottery event in tag team action when it was uh, Kaimana teaming up with ACW champion Mark Anarchy against Jafar and Alamed, known as the Regime. Look at Jafar, that monster just pacing on the outside. What is going on now with Alamed? Oh, he's gonna leave now. Oh, what a what a warrior. Go. He's going home. I guess he's got a cave he's gotta hide under. I don't think the fans care much if he leaves. Oh! Jafar making his presence known. No. Oh! Surprise, come on, they go through that wall. They gotta get this action back on the inside before somebody gets hurt on the outside here. This is some dangerous territory between these two. Body slammed him right on the floor here. Don't be fooled by the carpet. This is just concrete, and this floor, this floor pattern carpet is, if anything, maybe half an inch thick. Finally, back on the inside, and our man just goes straight to choking Kaimana. Jafar with some wood in his mouth. On the outside, meanwhile, Alamed trying to tie up Kaimana. Might be trying to go for a submission of some sort. Trying to, yeah, he's got him in that submission. I don't think Kaimana's gonna tap out. Kaimana would rather pass out or have that joint break before he ever taps out. Irish rip reversal. Oh, right to the back elbow by Kaimana. Suplex textbook. Foot on the rope. Kaimana with those forearms coming off. And he meets the boot of Alamed. Clutch. Sends it to 
in a corner. Coming off here. Close line. Alamed should be focusing on Kaimana, not the referee at this time. Now what's he gonna do as he's measuring him up and stuff like that? Oh, oh! What is that? He just jabbed him with that wood. Richard needs to turn around right now. Now we gotta understand why Jafar is on the outside. Not here for support. Just here for distraction and interference. Got that vice grip, like. Now he just reclamps it. Gonna choke the life out of Kaimana. You definitely know the fans are definitely behind Kaimana on this one. I don't think there's any fans of Alamed besides Alamed himself. Nicely done by Kaimana. That snap neck breaker, always impressive, always devastating. No one does it quite like Kaimana. Cover. Two and a half, almost three, it was that close. Kaimana sending him into the corner with a close end of his own. Coming up. Boom. Hooked the leg this time, but still only a two count. Alamed able to get the shoulders up. Out. Kaimana's not moving. Kaimana. This could be it right here. Kaimana's still able to kick out. But that Buddha, the way he just drove that Kaimana into the mat. I thought he had him. And I think the audience here at Philcom thought so as well. Spinning back fist. Coming off. with the modified gut buster. Alamed going up top. Kaimana back up. Kaimana oh! cracker. Kaimana wants Jafar in the ring right now. Look at that, Kaimana wants him right in the ring. Oh, we might see Kaimana and Jafar. Kaimana wants him. Look at that, Alamin. Get Jafar out of the way. Kaimana wasn't done. He wanted some more fight. And he wanted Jafar. The regime suffers the loss here. As 
Kaimano got the victory and has a Philcom rocking tonight.